The Kwara State Polytechnic has ventured into large-scale commercial farming to address the challenge of land encroachment facing the institution and also to complement efforts of the state government in ensuring availability and affordability of food to the populace. The rector of the Polytechnic Engineer Abdul Jimo Mohammed disclosed this while addressing journalists during tour of the farm to harvest its first produce, where he noted that the initiative has turned the encroachment challenge to a source of blessing. The Kwara Poly Rector maintained that the cultivation of the 20 hectares, 10 each for the two phases of the farm project with cassava and maize will permanently address encroachment and food shortage. What um, led to this idea is to find a way of discouraging or curbing encroachment, utilizing the vacant land for agricultural purposes so that we can make food available and affordable to the Polteri community, surrounding community, and the states at large. So the purpose is to discourage encroachment and making use of the land positively. We cleared 10 hectares initially. So when we finished clearing the 10 hectares, we moved to the second phase, which is under 10 hectares. So making 20 hectares altogether. The state government, under the leadership of our noble governor, is working assiduously to ensure food availability and availability and uh, affordability. So in order to support his agricultural programs, that is why we also embark on this farm so that we serve as a support to the government. So initially we had this uh, land contention with our, the villagers. They were, they were bent on not uh, do this farming work. But thanks to our Amebu rector, he called a, a meeting comprising of the villagers and the uh, polytechnic community, I mean management, and we dialogued together on a peace talk. And they all agree with us. It's going to be a continuous work project. After harvesting, we keep expanding and then more and more, more hectares and increasing our produce as well. Speaking on behalf of the Commissioner of Tertiary Institutions, Datu Modibo, Director in the Ministry, Rodia Yahaya, described the initiative as a proactive one. We, actually, in most of our institutions that have these land encroachment matters, the, none of the institution has, has gone the way the director had gone today. None of them. They were always talking of uh, fence, 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 fence. And we can see that every institution has a vast parcel of land. And you cannot fence everything. That's why when you go to any institution, even the private institutions, they can't fence their whole land, talk less of a government-owned institution. So this idea of using the virgin land to farm is a welcome idea. And I know by the time the institution heads have their next meeting, this issue will be raised there. And uh, all the video clips will be relayed to them. They will see it, and I think that will ginger them. It's, very, it's a very good initiative. I was telling him that they should start at the outskirts and leave the inner side so that they will know they have uh, circumferenced every parcel of land that belongs to the college. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.